how to secure your account using two-factor authentication and um so now go to my home page so that you understand where i'm i'm going with this so it is very necessary that if you want to use this for business i'm begging if you want to use this for business you should make sure that your facebook profile is secure make sure your facebook profile is secure now how do you secure your profile you go to your account do you understand you click on that account and you click settings and privacy settings and privacy then under settings and privacy you click settings now i'm showing you how to enable two-factor authentication it is very necessary like now me i have a lot of pages i have a lot of pages in my profile it would be very bad for me to lose my facebook profile due to the fact that i use it for business do you understand so it's very it's very necessary that you enable two-factor authentication so that you'll be able to secure your account so once you are here First, I said when you are in your home page, you go, to, you click on your account, you click on account settings, settings and privacy, then you click under settings. So under settings, you come here, you click security and login. Security and login. Now, you scroll down. Now, under the security and login, you can see that I'm active now on here. You can see my phone. I've been, I was active on my phone three hours ago. It gives you all the things so if you find anything suspicious here maybe it's not your um device there you can easily block it and all like that once you come here now under security and login you see that under this place you see use two-factor authentication and mine is on you can see that it's on now mine is on i don't need to turn it off but if i want to turn it off i can click on this edit but for you if you want to enable it you still click on the edit it requires you for your password you input your password so once you input your password you continue oh i got my password all wrong so once you input your password you continue i don't want to save yet now it's taking us to the two-factor authentication page now my own is on now you can also change your phone number that if you want to use to receive the text message because anytime once you turn it on anytime you want to um log in facebook from a new device that it does not recognize it will send its first text message to your the phone number you 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 input there so you have to use a working phone number please a working phone number and you know if that number got gets lost you will not be able to access your facebook profile so you have to use a number that you know that you will be able to retrieve it's not a number that your friend will register for you and you would think or maybe, maybe the thing when it many of the same card misplaced you then i'll be looking for that friend to try to use something that you know that you can easily get or maybe when it gets lost you can easily retrieve do you understand you are not playing for loss but you can easily retrieve and if you are logged in into another device make sure even though you lost that phone number that device should not be logged out that place you should not log out from facebook from that device because you can also tell them to send a code to any of the device that you are logged in into and from there you can access your account back so mine is on this is my phone number so anytime i want to log in do you understand i can they will send me a code and i will use that code to be able to log in log in so this is how it works whenever someone maybe they hack your account they want to log in they will definitely send facebook will definitely send a code to you right and if that phone number is with you they will not be able to get that code so they will not be able to log in into your facebook account so mine is turned on i don't want to turn it off it's okay like that and that is all about two-factor authentication so bye for now thank you